projecting anything right now, but it is such a tight race. Describe that crowd out there and the atmosphere of what you're witnessing here. Brad, the atmosphere out here is very tense. Members of the media are kind of scrambling every which way, but also people here that have come to celebrate what's being called a victory party here. Uh, it's very much been a victory party for a number of Republicans. Michael Adams just took the stage as Kentucky's newest Secretary of State. But the big race tonight is for governor. And a couple of media outlets, including NBC, have now called this race for Andy Bashir. If you look at most major media outlets that are counting this race, it's about a half percentage point, about 10,000, 8,000 votes that separate Bashir and Bevin right now. So it's very, very, very close. Some media outlets already calling this race for, uh, for Andy Bashir, but nobody has come out on stage and said anything to us. You've noticed that the party atmosphere that at times can be at these events, it's not the case right now. Everybody is kind of sitting around, looking on their phones. That's one thing you notice, a lot less people are conversating, a lot more people are checking social media and their phones to see how this is panning out. With 99% of the vote, Brad, like you said, uh, the race looks to be, at least at this point, with Andy Bashir in the lead. I think that at last check, about 20 precincts, that is it, around the entire state of Kentucky, are left to report these votes in, with about eight to 10,000 votes, it looks like, separating these two candidates. The most recent poll a couple weeks ago had these candidates in a deadlock, and this race looks like it may end and very, very close to a deadlock. And with that being said, uh, Jake, you have you have covered Governor Bevan, and especially that uh, speech he gave last night at Rupp Arena, very impassioned speech he gave. Win or lose tonight when he takes the podium, are, how do you gauge that? Do you, do you have any concept of what may be said by the governor, uh, especially if this is not turning out the way he wanted to. Well, Brad, I think right now there's a lot of speculation amongst us. If this race goes the way it's gone right now and Andy Bashir is, is declared the winner when the votes are tallied up, we're all kind of wondering if, if Governor Matt Bevin will come out and concede whether he will ask for a re-canvas, which is something that that process can start within the next week or so. This race is so huge for the future of Kentucky, and obviously it's had such big implications for the Democratic and Republican Party on a nationwide level. Uh, it, there's a lot at stake here. So we don't really know what to expect, and I think that's kind of the nerves that, that have filled this room, is we could see the entire Republican ticket win other than the governor, but it's going to be so close within that margin of error that I think we, we could really end up possibly being here, not only really late tonight, but this is something that could really go into tomorrow and maybe even further down the road. A story that's been huge over the last few months could get even bigger as these results finally come in and we get the, the, the finale of it all. They have just announced Matt Bevan as the winner of this race. Just behind me here on stage, someone has taken to the podium announcing that Matt Bevan has won this race. If we can swing our camera around. We're not sure who this is. Uh, we're, I'm sorry, we don't, there seems to be some confusion here at this event uh, right now as to who is on stage at this point. Uh, it looks like they may be taking this person off of stage. Brad, confusion here at this event for Matt Bevan and the Republican Party. No one has hit the microphone yet to uh, clarify any statements this person has made. I think everybody's confused at this point. I apologize uh, for kind of keeping my attention up toward the stage. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio uh, right now as we try to get a grip on exactly what's happening. We'll be standing by, okay? I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that. that that's almost a Steve Harvey moment. Uh, 